Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you the clean architecture, also known as onion architecture. It is a very popular architecture used for um, web applications, especially in ASP.NET Core, for example. So let's see the diagram. Uh, so basically we have uh, the core application layer, where we have the entities and, in and interfaces, and also the domain logic, domain services. And outside of that, we have the UI, user interfaces. So in ASP.NET Core application, this would contain controllers and view models. And also the infrastructure layer containing repositories and other services. We also have external dependencies, like for example, the database or some cloud service and so on. So um, the main uh, thing we have to realize is the um, direction of dependencies. So uh, the application core layer is not dependent on anything else. So it may re reference the uh, infrastructure, for example, but it will re reference the infrastructure through an abstraction. So using, for example, an interface. But it, it cannot reference directly a conc concrete class from the outside layer, so from the infrastructure layer or the user interface layer. And on the other hand, the infrastructure layer is outside of the application core, so it can uh, re reference directly the classes contained inside of the application core. And uh, the same thing applies for the user interface. It can reference directly the application core classes but it shouldn't uh, um, reference the infrastructure, infrastructure layer. Let's see how, how this works uh, on a practical example with ASP.NET Core application. So here we have the cleanlibrary.ui solution, which consists of three projects. We have the cleanlibrary.core, cleanlibrary.infrastructure, and cleanlibrary.ui. These two are uh, C-sharp class libraries and uh, cleanlibrary.ui is the um, ASP.NET Core MVC application. So let's start by looking inside um, the uh, cleanlibrary.core, which represents the core layer in our clean architecture. Um, so we have three folders. The first one is entities, second one is interfaces, and the third one is services. So we will have only one entity called book, which is a very simple public class uh, containing one field name uh, of type string and a, and a basic constructor. We have a service, which is implementing the iBook service interface. It contains a reference to the iBook repository and it has one method, add book, which takes in one parameter book and invokes the add book method inside of the book repository uh, reference. So as you can see, we are in the uh, core layer and we have a reference to the repository, which is a part of the infrastructure layer, but we are referencing only an abstraction only the interface. There is no concrete implementation. This interface is a part of the core layer and it contains definition of one method which is implemented in the book repository service. We also have the iBook service interface which consists the same definition. So um, some people like to put this iBook repository interface into another project, uh, which, which they name, for example, common, because technically speaking, the definition of the repository should be inside of the infrastructure. But in my opinion, it is better to put the interface inside of the core layer, because it is an interface that is used by the services and it is a bit better to keep this that way this way 
so that inside of the infrastructure layer we have only the implementations for this uh, for this interface I think this kind of uh, design is, is also correct and this is what I would recommend so that's the basic definition of the core uh, project so now let's go to the infrastructure we have only one folder repositories which contains book repository.cs and it contains uh, only one implementation of the iBook repository which is an interface that we have defined inside of the core project and there is a, a, a basic implementation for this method um, only a comment because it is not impo important right now but here we would have the logic uh, which would add the new entity to the database so uh, that's the basic uh, structure of the infrastructure project. Let's go to the cleanlibrary.ui project, which is uh, ASP.NET Core web application. We have the views, the models, the controllers. And uh, let's focus on the book controller, which will um, answer the HTTP POST request. And it will take in one book element as a parameter and it will invoke the service uh, the service book service method add book so as you can see we have a very um, clean set of dependencies so the clean library ui is dependent upon the core service but the core project has no dependencies on the UI layer. The same goes for the infrastructure. The infrastructure references the core project, but the core project does not reference the infrastructure project directly. It only uses the abstraction iBook repository. So um, we need to configure the dependency injection because the core project inside the book service we have the reference to the ibook repository but we, we need to configure the dependency injection so that the framework kn knows which concrete implementation should be injected into this constructor constructor in place of this um, uh, interface ibook repository so we in ASP.NET Core we do this inside of the startup.cs file we have the configure services method and we use the add scope method to define that for each iBook service there will be book service implementations implementation injected. Scoped means that for each request there will be a new instance of the book service. And the same goes for the iBook repository. So to configure the dependency injection, technically we need to reference the uh, infrastructure layer from the UI which shouldn't be happening according to the clean architecture but this is just the, the way the uh, the ASP.NET Core framework works so we we can't avoid that using the out-of-the-box uh, dependency injection but that is not a big problem uh, as you can see here we have the uh, reference to the concrete um, implementation of the iBook repository which shouldn't be happening but uh, we can use this th this way so this is the basic uh, project structure that you can use inside of your um, ASP.NET core web applications but also for console applications also for uh, uh, desktop applications it is very versatile and it, it is the uh, uh, very popular and and it is used uh, in many projects even commercially so uh, it is clean it is easy to test because you have uh, the entities and the business logic very separated very much from from the infrastructure and the UI which makes the unit testing and integration testing uh, much easier so this is uh, the kind of structure that you would like to have inside of your projects. Uh, I hope that you have understood this concept well and uh, I hope to see you soon in the future videos.